Good Friday morning, everybody. It's finally Friday and it's Father's Day weekend. I'm Chris Allen. Happy Father's Day. Well, it's Sunday, but I'll go ahead and say it to you dads out there. Uh, here is the Sam channel weather for you. Uh, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and X all sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. One of the best places to go if you're a dad or a granddad or a going to be dad Ace Hardware Marketplace Father's Day weekend. You know, they're going to have some good stuff. We got some good stuff in the weather. Uh, it's a beautiful morning here in Southern Kentucky. As we look from the plain old cam with some high thin cirrus clouds and a, a beautiful start yesterday, we officially hit 90 for the first time this year. And for the first time in nine months, you have to go all the way back to September to find a 90 degree temperature, but we did it yesterday and the average is 86. So, you know, we were four degrees above average. Looks like we're going to hit 90 again today. I don't think that's going to be a problem. It's going to be uh, that way all weekend long and even hotter than that, as you'll soon see. Here's a look from the live cam downtown Bowling Green, courtesy of AAA Systems. It's a, a nice day, but you see those clouds that are kind of towering up there um, just to the left of the uh, the tower. Yeah. Th those are actually putting down a little bit of rain, but they're, they're very isolated and they're not going to hold together. Uh, they're just remnants from a complex of thunderstorms that came rolling through parts of Illinois and Missouri last night. And they're, they're just kind of, they're, phasing out, but some of them did hold together. And, uh, that's what we're seeing this morning. And I'll show you that on the radar. And we can see that this morning here at seven 25 local time. And there we go. Let me zoom in. Here we go. Here's Bowling Green. Let's see where they are. Well, we're looking in that direction. When you saw the downtown camera, probably the one that's over Rochester. It's a little shower, but no lightning. They're just little, just isolated showers. And it's possible that the raindrops are not all the way making it to the ground. Uh, I would say probably this one is just barely there. The one over Rochester, probably getting a little bit of spotty rain out of that. And then the one that's just a little bit North of Caneyville, probably a little shower out of that up there toward uh, pine knob theater. So, um, yeah, there's a, a little boundary cold front that's trying to make its way through. But, uh, those storms just went once it hit this more stable air that we've had here for the last several days, they just fell apart. These are also remnants of that complex of systems that, uh, came through those same areas last night. So there's a little bit of something out there, but it's not much. And most of us will not see any kind of shower activity today, tomorrow, Sunday, father's day, maybe Monday afternoon. I've left in a chance that we could see something like this isolated late day showers that pop up in the afternoon on, uh, Monday, but for the most part, we're going to keep it dry. Here's a look at the high resolution satellite. You can see those little clouds right there where those showers are. Otherwise we're just seeing those high, thin, wispy cirrus clouds thicker clouds back here as the cold front is kind of slicing through parts of Western Kentucky and Illinois, uh, Missouri, and it's going to come on through. It's really not going to change much of anything. Um, it will 
maybe be a few degrees cooler in the dew point category. We're back into the 60s with the dew points. So you know it's going to feel muggier now than it has over the last few days. Uh, And then with the heat coming in that we're going to see this weekend or feel this weekend, it's, it's going to be muggy. The muggies are going to come back. Well, let's check temperatures this morning from the Kentucky Mesonet sensors all over the Commonwealth. We focus on Southern Kentucky and we see upper 60s, low 70s, even mid 70s, 75 at the sensor that's over near the Western Ag Expo Center, south side of town. 60s up here where you were seeing some of that Uh, some of the returns on the radar. Let me turn radar on. And you see those three little isolated showers. Clouds are holding back the temperatures along with these little raindrops. 66 in Ohio County near Hartford. 67 in Litchfield. 67 in Butler County near Woodbury and Morgantown. So those showers may push in toward Morgantown in the next little bit and may produce something. And it looks like there's even a little shower trying to pop up south of the Ag Expo Center. This is all part of the cold front that's going to make its way through. So, um, yeah, the dew points, look at this. Back into the 60s and even close to 70. Yuck. That means yucky, muggy, thick. Um... Uh, air. Yeah. It's just, yeah. it's summer though. Almost officially it will be by Tuesday. Um, the winds are out of the South this morning at five miles per hour. Uh, gusts, eh, not really until you go back into Western Kentucky and that's near the cold front. And it's not really a cold front. We call it that, but it's a cool front. It's really just a boundary that is helping touch off some of those isolated showers that you saw on the radar just now. Uh, so yeah, if you get a shower, I mean, it's not going to help cool things down. In fact, it'll be more like a, it's going to be like a steam bath effect or a sauna sauna. <laughs> I like that old commercial. It was, it's like a sauna up in here. All right, let's check the model blender. Oh, some of you will love this and some of you will hate it. Look at that. 90s across the board. Wow. It's been a long time since we've seen a streak of 90s like this. But here it comes. And it started yesterday when we officially hit 90 for the first time this year, but it's certainly not going to be the last. And as you can see, look at Sunday, they're showing 97. I'm going with 96. Hottest day of the year coming on Father's Day. That pretty much appears to be the case. And then look at all those mid 90s, pretty much every single day next week and into next weekend crazy. It's going to be hotter than the 4th of July and we're not even there yet, but it'll, it will by Tuesday, it'll be officially summer. So it's pretty much on cue. Now on some of those days, there will be that chance of getting a late day shower or thunderstorm, but it's not going to be every day. It'll be just at certain times, especially late afternoon early evening, then they die out after dark. You get those late day pop-up showers, uh, from the heat of the day. And then they go away after, uh, after dark because they have no more sun energy to, to, uh, help keep them alive, so to speak. All right, let's check the maps and we go day by day. Here's today. We got that little boundary. It's not even really a cold front. Here's the cold front, but this is just a little boundary decaying 
uh, cells as they roared through parts of Illinois and Missouri last night, but they're hitting the ridge of high pressure. So they're falling apart. But some of you are seeing a shower here and there. It's not totally out of the question. There comes the cold front this afternoon. It'll be laying right across Bowling Green this evening and then south toward Nashville tonight and early tomorrow. But really, not much changes. There could be some patchy fog because the air mass will be slightly less humid. Dew points uh, will come down a bit. You may feel a little difference tomorrow morning than this morning. It'll be just a little less muggy, but only for a short time. And then the muggies come back as high pressure builds back in. Here we go into Saturday morning, afternoon, evening, Sunday. There's a warm front. And that is why we're calling for 96 on Sunday, Father's Day. Notice. No rain anywhere close, but that warm front is going to kick the numbers into high gear. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be hot. It's going to be muggy on Sunday. Here we go into Monday, Tuesday, maybe, and again, Monday afternoon, it's a possibility, but here comes another piece of energy, just really weak. It's really just being uh, activated by this ridge of high pressure, Gulf of Mexico moisture coming in on the backside of the high and just enough moisture to pop mainly a late day shower or thunderstorm. There's Wednesday and here comes Thursday. And you can see high pressure, large and in charge, strong high pressure, lots of rain back here in the plains but we may not see any of that until late next week. Until then, it's going to be summer heat and humidity making a big comeback. Uh, And the first long streak of 90s that we have seen in a long time. And some of those highs that you saw, like when you see 96, 97 or so, some... A record high temperatures could be in jeopardy. I haven't looked that far out, but I know it'll be close. It'll be close. So get ready for the heat. It's here. All right. Good morning in the chat box to Virginia and Eric, Patricia, Mandam 98, Kathy, Pat, Virginia, Anita, Eva, Tony. Thank you all for watching on this Friday morning. I'll see you later on this evening, 5, 6, and 10 at News 40 WNKY. And I'm on the radio now at Sam 100.7 on your FM dial. Otherwise, have yourselves a great Friday. Thank you for watching and God bless.